Welcome back to the channel. The Tulsa Madman is feeling pretty dadgummed American right now. Why? Because our 1962 Rambler American hit the driveway. Bit of a fiasco. Again, I don't wake up at the butt crack of dawn. I usually get up around the butt crack of noon, and that's when uh, that's when feller was supposed to be bringing the car. And I, about the time I was getting messages from him and a few other people, like my buddy Lance Tim from Blue Collar Street Racing, sent the message and said, "Hey, is that you hauling that hog down 412? No, it's getting delivered." Then another buddy, "Have you got the car yet?" No. I'm loading my pockets to meet this guy, and I'm like, oh, I owe him 350. I only have four. So I call my buddy, Terpiana Jones, down there at WAP. Yeah, not what you're thinking. Wholesale Auto Paints. And uh, like, hey, buddy, uh, can you can you change me 100? So I did that, and on the way, on the way back, uh, Ran into guy like it was it couldn't couldn't script it better. You'll see all that. I don't even know why I'm going on about it. I guess I'm just a little excited. But anyway, the car's here. Got a brief walk around out there. Um, I'm gonna leave these things short and simple, man. Uh, hope you enjoy the video and uh, thanks for the hat, pops. Um, if you don't know the story, pops died last February and and he bought this hat to to wear to Elton John and and he never got to make it. And this is the first time I've wore the hat. Thanks, Pops. America! Live action. There he is. Ran down to the paint store to get some change and just so happened to cross this beast. Hell yeah. Through a little bit of strategery, I think we're gonna get him pulling up. Yes, sir, coming down the street, live action. I can't believe it worked out this way, it's perfect. I found media right here. Let me out of this stupid thing, I want my new old car. There we go. What's up, big guy? poop sticks fat kid is wore out it's in the driveway though yeah john and his buddy getting ready to vomit us muchachos on their two hour drive i want to thank those guys for bringing her down well the american has landed in all of her glory yeah that flathead six cylinder Screaming demon right there, I bet. She's not bad. The hood right here. She's been opened the wrong way a few times. The inner, uh, inner structure there has come loose. That's something we're going to have to address before we drive it. We got a lot of addressing to do before then. She's got a little crusties. Not too bad, though here in the rocker some yeah good thing I know how to do rust repair right so look at this beast he's a snake man no I like the white interior it's actually silver isn't it yeah silver probably gonna have mom stitch up some white Oh, any car, good car guy takes the change out of the ashtray. I grew up in salvage yards, like I said. We checked all the seats and all the things. I understand that these might have a reclining front seat so you could lay down. They were built for the businessman. We'll be checking that out later. I love that gauge cluster. Don't know what we're going to do about that. Looks like she's got a little moisture in there. We're going to have to pull the carpet up. That's one of the first things we'll do is check out the interior. Pull the carpet out. Don't have keys. Hmm. Gonna have to try to get the back seat out maybe and uh, try that out or put the jimmy on the old lock. Look at that, 94 was the last time this old Rambler was on the roads. 
this little body line, this is something that I've noticed on the internet. I was noticing that this, it's not, it's, it's welded all the way to there, but then it's actually got a seam right there. I, I couldn't quite tell on the pictures from the internet, but yeah, that's the way it is. I really like this cool back window. That was something, something that sold me on the car. They roll down. How cool is that? To me, it kind of fits that street rod, mini truck, utilitarian feel, all, all of it. Back to the crusties. Yeah, we got some down here. A little worse on this side. I did look at the inner rockers on this thing before I bought. It looked pretty solid. How about these door handles? How cool is that? Got lights, wipers. It's got the Manuel on the column. Oh, he went looking for change, but there was nothing but butts. Why oh, I didn't do the Cardinal. I'm talking about how cool I am. Oh, anybody Nissan choose? The old headliners gave up the ghost. Yeah. Didn't do the, didn't do the thing. I'm talking about how cool I am on car scavenging. And I didn't even open the glove box. Ooh, KMOD 97.5 KMOD. Pretty cool back when that meant something. Oh, a rat's nest. Well, golly, oh wow. That's like fiberglass or plastic. That's pretty cool for this age of a car. What is this all about? That's a block off plate where all the cool stuff would have been if you were a cool kid. Yeah, see the window cranks back there? Those windows roll down. How sick is that? These windows, the vent windows open. It's gonna be like having one of my old Astro vans when we'd roll around with all the windows open. All right, now that we've had a walk around, we've kind of got a good loose lay of the land, check the car out a little bit, nothing too deep. We'll get a little bit more in depth as we go along. I just kind of want to keep these videos short. I want your opinions. Do we uh, just clean the windows and leave all the the uh, crusties on the body for right now, or do we do we pe pressure wash it and hit it with the uh, the uh, what is it the SOS pad and knock some of the big crusties off and just kind of give it that patina look, or what, what what do we do? I know my next step is is getting the interior out and checking out the floors to see how much we're going to have to cut to fit that S10 chassis under there. Uh, going to have to shorten the chassis eight inches is, is what it is. I think the uh, American Rambler or the Rambler American wheelbase is 100 inches or right there at it. And my regular cab short bed S10 is 108 inches. So that's something we're going to have to look at. But I want to see the floors and get a really good idea of how much cutting we're going to have to do. Um, I can go from zero to ignorant real quick. Um, I've kicked around everything from uh, a Molly 25 dot floor in it to where... Uh, keep some resell if I ever decide to sell it. Um, I thought about just shortening the stock S10 chassis. Um, what's bouncing around in my head right now is kind of a back half deal, two by three. Uh, keep it leaf spring. I want to keep my back seat. Um, so no big four links in there, or at least parallel four links. Um, what are your thoughts, guys? Now that we've checked it out, uh, leave a comment below, like, subscribe if you don't already. Um, make sure you click that notifications bell and and for all y'all that have stuck stuck around from the day one when I had a few street racing videos on here, thank you. For all the new people out there, thank you very much. And invite a friend. Let's make this like a Sunday morning service. Turn around, let everybody know we're having a good time, and invite them over here to the channel. That's a Tulsa Madman. And uh, until next time. <laughs>